if you have an SAP PI dual stack system and want to do recordings on it that you can test and validate your transports and migration, we have added a function that is really useful for you. So we have created a way that can fetch data from your dual stack system and replay them on your migrated uh, scenarios. So let me show you how this works. So here we can see a list of all the different uh, integration objects that we have in our dual stack system. And we select the receiver determination we want to record messages on. We select record messages. We create it as a test gate for this. We select how many messages we want. We select how long time ago we want to fetch messages in. We have option to specify extra parameters and we just say start recording. And this will then create a recording. We can start and now we can start pulling these messages and pulling will log on with FC, download all the individual messages and payloads and we can see it went pretty fast. And we can now see we have created a test case with all of these messages. So we got one inbound message and two outbound messages. So that was all we needed to, to do to fetch data from our dual stack system. Obviously it needs to save both incoming and outgoing payloads. And in this scenario we have created a message that's being split. So what we'll do is we'll create a test case on this and we'll create the test case based on this data. Now we want to send it into our ICO based system that we have migrated to a 7.5 system. So we will just select this. We can select where we want to run it and we want to run it on our dual stack or single stack 7.5 environment. This will then create all the necessary objects, send the messages through here. And once it has done that, we can see what the status is of this uh, test case and we can see it is still processing so now we can see everything has been run we can see there's some errors what are these errors it is just that the time has been changed and i guess that is is okay because they have been run at at different times uh, then and now so what we can do is we can just click ignore and now this element has been added to our ignore list we can go back we can run the test case again and then hopefully we will not see any errors once we're looking at this uh, result so that means you can pretty simple go in see what the status is of these messages is we got this one is successful we got some other errors on some of the other documents that's being split and this is a different header that it has so we also need to ignore that so with that we are able to create test cases run them manage them really simple and test that our migration from a dual stack system to a single stack system works uh, flawlessly uh, if you want to try it out uh, you can go to figaf.com forward slash iot download it and try it out we expect that it is possible to use on seven one systems and above we have tested with uh, seven four dual stack systems but uh, the apis and stuff like that should not have been changed uh, since earlier versions so if you are on one of these earlier versions reach out to us and we'll help you and see what is actually possible on this older system so uh, thanks for watching if you like this video please uh, hit the like button i really appreciate it thank you